Hello there, welcome to my channel, my name is Chantelle and today I thought I would kind of start a studio vlog. I'm a brand new artist, I don't technically have a studio, but I like watching these videos so I thought I would just casually start recording aspects. I also thought because I'm a brand new artist it might be kind of interesting to see the beginning so I'm just going to be recording parts of time as it goes on. Today is the 1st of November and I have this box from Stationery Pal which I'm super excited to open. I'm now going to open it and the video will actually be on my channel now so I will link it here or down below if you're interested in checking it out. I'm super excited to open that. Something which I don't think I've really spoken about much on YouTube but I have a lot on my TikTok is that I don't have an art style. I have been trying to find my art style for about a year now actively and honestly I don't feel any closer to it. So what I'm going to be focusing on this month is trying to see what I like. I've kind of realized that my art style isn't just going to like come up and hit me in the face. It's something I'm going to have to work towards and it might not even like just become an art style, it might, I might not just find it, but what I want to do is practice sketching and try and figure out exactly what I like. I like doing portraits, I like painting portraits, but I am going straight towards the watercolour because I know that I love watercolour and I want to keep doing it, but what I really want to do this month is take a step back and practice sketching and trying to figure out what aspects of sketching a portrait I really like. Here are some of the portrait sketches that I've done recently. These two are my favourites, I'm really happy with how they turned out. This is today's painting setup, I've got my big arches and my little arches and I'm going to be painting two originals. I've also got my sketchbook, I'm going to be doing a bit of a warm up first. I've picked out all the colours I'm going to use, one is a bit red and the other one's a bit green themed, so that'll be fun. Hi there, today I finished my sketchbook. This one, I did most of it in about five months and then I had like four pages that I just have not done so I just quickly smashed them out. I haven't decorated the front yet so I thought we could pick out some stickers and I also want to pop the start and end date in here so that's what I'm going to do. Here's the sketchbook and here's the kind of messy situation we've got. The first galaxy that I did, it actually looks pretty good considering the paper that I used. Then I've got this green galaxy, I've added some final splatters to it, I'm just trying to let it dry but keep it out of the sun. Then we've also got this one, oh let's not put that in the sun. I really love how this one turned out, it's so pretty, I love the colours, the size. I've added some final splatters again, it just needs to dry. In relation to uh, the sketchbook is A4, so it's bigger than A4, I really love the size and I'm really happy with how all of these have turned out actually. I've got some stickers together, so these three I got from Stationery Pal. I'm going to use some of these and I've also got some from Dove and Moon. These are the ones I got from Dove and Moon. So I'm going to do a little bit of both and fill the cover. I'll probably grab, I'll grab one of these from Stationery Pal first. These are like little vintage postage stamps, they're so cute, I'm not sure which colour to go for. I'm going to grab one of these as well. I don't want it to be completely covered, but I would like to fit quite a lot on. And these ones are really cute. These are like little mini paintings. They look a bit like oil. Oh, that one's adorable actually. Maybe I'll pop that one. I'll pop that somewhere. <laughs> I also want to grab one of these Van Gogh ones because they look so cute. I'm not sure whether to go for a landscape or a star though. I don't know. We could try that one and we could pop some stars down maybe. I think maybe this bicycle, which I love, this bicycle would be really quite cute. 
And I've got some smaller ones from Dove Immune as well. I don't think the ones from Sticker Up would really go with this front cover. This is a very cute front cover. Oh, this one might look nice because that one's got kind of a grey border. So that might look better. Might look better on top because that's kind of where Stamp goes. I do quite like that. I might go for another one of these actually. They are really colourful and I like that. Maybe like little houses or, or maybe this windmill. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> okay we'll go we'll go for this one because that's a different color to the last one so i like the bike and maybe we'll just try and rearrange things a little bit cannot for the life of me open this I can really tell this one is good quality. It's like a really thick sticker, especially compared to the others. I, I like it. Right, and then I'm gonna grab some of these. These are cute little clouds. Maybe, maybe we'll go for this little cute pink one. And oh, we could do a cup of tea near it. Although actually this is probably more like a coffee. It's like got something on it. Then uh, see if there's any others. Maybe, maybe we could do like a little cute flower, like a little pink flower. I'm gonna pop that on the bottom there, and then I'm gonna grab a green version too. Oh no, that one ripped a little bit. Oh, what am I gonna do? I'm just gonna grab my glue dispenser that I got from Stationery Pal and try and glue the back of this sticker so I can pop it on. One thing that I've wanted to do for a little while now is number my sketchbook because I kind of know the order now but I feel like as I finish more sketchbooks I'm not going to know the order, I'm just going to forget. So this sketchbook was the very first one. Then this one was December so that's the first sketchbook we did, that's the second one. That one doesn't actually, well no, neither of them have any stickers on. I'm going to have to decorate those. Then I have this one. I'm just going to tuck that in. This one was for the 100 heads. This was the 4th of August. I finished this one. I think I did the holiday sketchbook first. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure that one is first. So I'm going to pop that there. That is the order. I'm going to go get my Posca and I'm going to write down all the sketchbook numbers on the back of them now. I think my Posca is getting pretty clogged though, I think it might need a little bit of a clean. I've never pulled it out and done a full clean. Okay, I've just watched a YouTube video and I'm going to attempt to clean my Posca a little bit. It looks pretty grubby in there, but apparently you just pop the nib in here and that kind of does the clean. Although, to be fair, the water's kind of already gone quite white, so maybe this will work. Here we go, this is sketchbook one. We've got one, two, three, four, and five here. Okay, there's all the sketchbooks in order. I've got another sketchbook, which I'll be finishing in a couple of days, but these are, well, they're all watercolor, actually. The next one isn't going to be watercolor, but I'm still gonna pop that in as number six. This sketchbook here is the next one that will be completed. I'm pretty confident it will be completed because I'm on like one page left. I mean, I could complete it today if I wanted to, but I'm not gonna. So what I'm thinking about doing is writing the words messy sketchbook on it because that's exactly how I've been treating this one. It's exactly what it is. I just pop anything and everything I have in it, any kind of ideas, and I might do a kind of wacky font and then like a black line around it, but I'm not sure. That looks really thin now, to be fair. Now that I've unclogged it, it looks so much thinner. Just trying to go over it now without dunking my finger in. I do think this Posca is definitely finished. I really need to have a look at refilling it because I know that you can refill them. Considering I've just done the clean, it doesn't look fantastic. Hi 
Hi there, it's VoiceOver Chantel here. I am refilling my Posca. I know you can get proper refill packs, but I've watched a YouTube video, so I want to give it a go. I'm just kind of pulling it apart now, pop the nib in to be cleaned again, and I'm just using white acrylic paint with a little bit of water. At the beginning, I diluted it a little bit too much. I tested it quite a bit as I went along, as you can see. But in the end, I just had to keep adding more and more paint to make it opaque. And then I popped it back together. And honestly, it actually worked. Can you believe it? This is it completely filled up now. And I'm really happy with it. It's as good as new. Today, I realized that I haven't opened my jelly gouache in about five months. So it's not very good, I know. But it's in a Ziploc bag. And I'm kind of hoping it will still be fine. But let's have a look together. I really hope these haven't dried up. The yellow and orange are a little bit dry. Actually, the middle ones are fine. It's just the end ones that are dry. So I'm going to add a load of water. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with this though. There's no mold and even though it's dry, it's not horrific. So I'm quite happy with that. I have my sketchbook and I would like to see how the gouache works in it. I've not tried it before and I also want to see how opaque the gouache is going to be now. I've done this kind of spirally thing and I've labelled some colours and I'm just going to kind of be filling it in and seeing how it works. It's the morning now and it's very cloudy, it's so dark, please ignore the bad lighting. All I did last night was I added some black line work to this. It was a really fun piece but honestly I really struggled with the gouache. The gouache wasn't going very opaque, I'm not sure if it was the paper or the fact that it was kind of dry or because I hadn't done gouache in a while in all fairness. But this is how it looks, it's quite a fun sketchbook page. My messy sketchbook is now finished so I can just peel off all this tape and add the sketchbook number to the back. I want to compare it to the other ones and see if it works okay since I filled it up. Posca was a bit hard to shape but I think that's because it's so full. I'm really quite happy with how it looks. Obviously it's not on black so it's a bit harder to see but I think that looks really quite good considering I just filled it up with what I had in my house so that was a good idea. It's been raining non-stop for about a week and it's literally just stopped raining so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get all of my original paintings ready so I can go outside and try and take photos. I always get a bit scared when I do this that it's going to take the paper away that's underneath. These are the four originals that I've got. They've all had signatures so they're ready to be packed after I've taken the photos. Every original that I sell will come with a mount and backing board. These are Larson Heels so they're really good. They also have an acid free cellophane bag that's recyclable and the main reason that I provide the mount is because watercolour paper comes in really weird sizes. So with the mount this one is A4 and this one is A3 and they'll fit a frame really lovely. Without a mount it would be pretty impossible to frame them so I've included the mount just to make it a little bit easier for framing. It started raining again so it is the next day but I'm photographing my artwork. This is the best background I could get and obviously I'm holding my camera. I last photographed my art in April and this is how much I have to do. I have all my sketchbook art and my originals. These are all my mounts and backing boards and honestly it's probably not a long job but it does feel like it takes a while to unwrap them. I'm now popping all my originals in their final packaging so that they don't get any dust or anything on them and they're pretty much ready to go.
Hi, yeah, feel free to ignore the mess that's behind me. I just wanted to quickly show you some of my red bubble stuff that's arrived. I've just made them up. I ordered some cushions. This is what they look like. It's the little galaxy that I did in my first sketchbook or, or my etch -a sketchbook, which I've not finished. It's kind of, I've had it a while, but I've not finished it. <laughs> I did these galaxies and this is what they look like. They look really cool. I really like them. I'm happy with them. Usually red bubble, the quality isn't that great, but I'm really happy with these. I think they look really cool. Finally, I'm just going to do a little sketchbook session. I'm using my Pinterest board to find some faces and I'm just going to sketch out some portraits using my Muji mechanical pencil. I'm really happy with how these sketches have turned out. I think they're definitely a lot closer to the kind of portrait art style that I would like to have. I've also added my originals onto my website, which was a really big and exciting thing to do, honestly. Unfortunately, at the moment though, I can only list five products and I can only use one photo for each of them, which is a little bit restricting, but obviously eventually I would like to upgrade to something like Squarespace. I'm really quite happy with how the photos have turned out though, I think that they still show the product really well, so I'm happy with that. <laughs> 